A teen is punished for his attempt at stopping a bully. Seventh grader Brian McLean said he was sitting in class on Tuesday when he noticed a bully threatening a classmate. McLean heard the flick of a pocket knife, and that's when the 13-year-old took matters into his own hands by tackling the bully. The boy's mother said she was called and the boy was sent home for trying to play hero. The bully has since been suspended. And another story on bullying today, tickets aren't just for speeding anymore. In one Wisconsin community, cops can also hand them out to families whose children torment other kids. Monona, Wisconsin recently adopted an ordinance that allows police to cite the parents of chronic bullies. First, the parents will be notified if their child is bullying, and if the behavior continues within 90 days, the parents will be fined $114 in court. Omaha volunteers are trying to build a school in Haiti with a little help. Former UNL Athletic Director Tom Osborne will team up with KTV's Rob McCartney to raise money for a school in Haiti. The Flower of Hope School in Haiti was built after the earthquake in 2010. It's now too small to serve all of its students. The charity took place last night at St. John Vianney Church. Osborne spoke at the event as well as McCartney. Kelly? There was a special tennis match in Omaha over the weekend that brought in athletes from across the country. The Lincoln Tennis Buddies is a program through the Special Olympics that brings together tennis enthusiasts and athletes with special needs. Organizers said athletes are proof that disabilities don't have to slow anyone down. Drug shortages are driving the price of everyday antibiotics way up. Back in March, the American Academy of Pediatrics warned an FDA alert over doxycycline shortage. It's an inexpensive drug that is used to treat infections sexually transmitted diseases, and a new case of Lyme disease. Lyme is a problem in the northeastern U.S. as well as the upper Midwest caused by ticks. Senators from Maine and Minnesota are urging the FDA to do what they can to fix the problem. Last night, this issue showed up on Twitter when Dr. Judy Stone, who practices in Maryland and Maine, announced the price of the drug in her pharmacy has gone from 20 to over $3,000. Hacker group Anonymous released more details about its upcoming news site. It wants to focus on stories that it deems most important. Kardashian need not apply. In a new online update, Anonymous said, to quote, it's time to start getting real news out there. To everyone, we have to stop relying on big corporations to do that for us. In April, Anonymous raised $55,000 through an online campaign. The group released a note today saying it would announce a launch date in its next press release. Kelly? three million dollars for a lunch with Warren Buffett. Yeah, I mean, I might buy a celebrity dinner, but that's about it. That's all we have for you tonight at Star City News. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brian Fry. And I'm Kelly Bradley.